one is calamities of life where fasting can change the calamities of life calamities of life are the things that come unexpected it's the challenges that we can experience in our life it's the problems that we are facing when you start to fast something begins to happen these challenges invite the presence and the power of the holy spirit to see change in that area of your life ezra was one day a cup bearer and he was uh, ezra was asking the king for the money and the, the jewish people gave him some money also wealthy jewish people to rebuild jerusalem and somebody recorded that ezra at the time when he was going back to jerusalem was carrying 25 tons of silver to 7,500 pounds of gold loaded with wealth loaded with blessings from the Jewish people to take to Jerusalem to re begin to help Jerusalem and he doesn't have an army he wants to go to to Jerusalem he doesn't have any protection and Ezra does this instead of asking the king for the hookups he goes in and tells the people he's going with he says guys we will declare a three-day fast and during these three days we're going to implore God of heaven so he will give us protection against the bandits and against the gangs and against the people who are want to attack us and take away our wealth and the bible says when they fasted god prevented the calamity god did god protected them and everything went smoothly when you fast the challenges that you may experience maybe you have something coming against you that you cannot change on your own maybe something has risen against your family or against your health Maybe something has risen against your marriage or against your finances. When you say, you know what, I've prayed, I've done everything. But Lord, what I do now is I humble myself before you. You will see God's intervention. You may say, why is this so important? Because the Bible says, biblical definition of humility is fasting. In scriptures it says, David says, I humbled myself with fasting. This is what happens. When you humble yourself before God, Bible says God gives you grace. Grace is unmerited favor. Grace is this force that helps you to get ahead, to get out and to get through. That grace is not given to people, listen up, who need it. That grace is given to people who are humble and the best way to humble yourself is by fasting. When you fast, you open the door for God's supernatural intervention in the area of your life and your situation. I've seen this the first hand uh, with our pastor. When many years ago when our church kind of hit a very rough patch and at around the same time uh, things were very challenging in his family and things were very challenging in his market the crash at the time. It was kind of like hell broke loose on everybody and things were very difficult in his business. Things were very difficult with his real estate and things were very difficult with his job and things were very difficult with some of the children uh, in, in his family and our pastor instead of panicking, instead of you know throwing a fit, what he did is he started to fast and he went for 40 day fast just on water and during that fast you know Thanksgiving I think passed and then he went again for another 40 days of fasting. Now nothing changed immediately but then he goes to the ministry of TB Joshua and out of nowhere, out of the 10,000 people, God prophesies to him through TB Joshua. Within a short period of time, out of nowhere, I get a phone call upstairs where Gary and Fiona, the ministers of TB Joshua, reach us and they happen to call exactly at the time that we pick up the phone. Because as you know, we don't pick up the phone at the church. We pick up the phone, they come with the anointing water. Next thing that happens is that there is the connection that happens with this ministry which begins to bring deep cleansing, spiritual cleansing in our church. See people look at that and they say, oh that's a coincidence. You know, how come a small church like yours at the time connected with TB Joshua? See nothing happens on accident. Fasting and prayer of many years is never lost. And it might be not, we may be benefiting today, you know, you are here, but you don't understand. You think you came here because somebody invited you. But there was a shift that happened in a spiritual world. Because when you are in a calamity and you are down to nothing, you begin to humble yourself before God. And God brought a change. And next thing that happened is that when Martin went to be there and then pastor's son, the one that he was interceding for, got, got delivered. And then the finances begin to change. And then the children's finances where you see them now opening businesses and you see God's blessing. And you may stand on the side and you say, well, you know, uh, they're just uh, so not cool. But you don't know where, when man humbles himself, God releases grace. 
God doesn't release grace when you need it. God releases grace when you humble yourself for it. I want to tell you something that things the fastings and the prayers of our church from the 15 years ago not one of them have went in vain all the time of standing with the posters all of these prayers that we pray here and Glenn we are not praying them just for now we are not praying for people today we are praying for people 20 30 50 60 70 years after this we are not just praying for now we are believing that we have the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit heals through us moves through us now but the prayers that are being prayed for they are still being deposited for the generations yet unborn can somebody say amen? 